everyone. Ken from Ken's Paint Shack, back to you guys again. I'm going to do a couple of videos today to try and catch up on some of the, um, the painting that I've done. I've taken the photographs and, and put them aside. I've uh, been pretty busy, so I hadn't managed to like get in front of the camera, uh, say hi, and, um, and, and get those videos up. So the first up, um, we've got Persian Cavalry from Victrix. They're 28mm hard plastic. Um, they're a, a small commission of 12 so I think there's four of the heavier cavalry and eight of the light and um, there's no archers in there but they're, they're there from War Games Illustrated they asked me to to paint those up so I've done that um, I've sent them away um, and they're really nice figures eh? they're really cool um, you know good detail um, and just here yeah, just a real pleasure to paint so that's that's the first lot that I've, I've got there um, I've got a few other ones coming up, but I was also going to do a video on the fact that um, I traded some of my figures, and the guy that took them um, has kind of swindled me out of my, my money and my figures. So I'm going to do a video on that. I'm not going to say the guy's name or anything, um, because I found out there's actually quite a few more people that he's done it to, and I just want to know, um, yeah... Are there more people out there? Um, but so I'll do. I'll do a wee video on that soon. Um, it should be an interesting one. I'll be interested just like with the comments on that one. But I'll, I'll do that as a separate video. But this is about the the Vitrix Cav. Um, beautiful Cav, as they always do. I love painting the cavalry. At the moment, I've got Greeks on the table. I've sent some away with actually out taking photographs. I just need to get them off the bench and away. And then I've also got. Um, American War of Independence. I've got quite a good bunch of those, and I'm I'm gluing together uh, Warlord Games SS, and I have Commonwealth uh, figures from Warlord Games as well. So yeah, lots lots happening. So um, let's just cut the video. Let's get to the um to the um pictures, um because that's what you guys are here for. I hope you enjoy. Yeah, so here we have these uh, Vitrix 28mm uh, Persian Cavalry. This is from the Armoured set. Um, obviously, you get to glue on the different arms and bits and pieces. There are, um, there are certain arms that fit with certain um, bodies. But um, all in all, there's still lots of choice. Um, I really um, enjoyed painting these guys, um, trying to get a little bit more uh, detail into them. Um, this is probably the first time I've ever painted uh, guys that don't, um, that haven't, actually like haven't been glued to the, the horses themselves. Um, it's just for travel back to England, um, I thought it would be safer. So if you think that there's the odd one of these guys sitting on here that's not quite sitting in the right position, um, it's simply because they're actually not glued on. But yeah, so I did a couple of leopard skin um, horse kind of blankets because I think there was three different ones. I used the uh, the same leather technique um, that I've been using uh, for the last couple of months. But yeah, old Vitrix, they do some do some good wee uh, poses of the horses, and um, I find probably. The horse is some of the easiest uh, to paint. I think I only did one. I did one guy in the uh, brass helmet. I'd actually run out of the the normal um, paint that I use for doing doing my uh, my brass and stuff. So um, I had to use a gold and just kind of try and uh, dull it down a bit so it wasn't so goldish. <laughs> but yeah. I used a few, uh, just a few different colours. Uh, used uh, for the horses mainly reds and blues, um, and um, I mean the the Persians they they do like a little bit of purple there, but I tried not to use it too much. I think I've used it on this guy, and on the standard bearer, um, and I've used um, the majority of these guys. I've I've kind of got the heads with the the cloth around it. Excuse, I don't know. Excuse me, I don't know what um. It's called, 
um, because I've never done Persians before. This is my very first time at the Persians. Try to do a little bit more on the bow uh, case there, some flowers. Um, and yeah. So I had a little, uh, a few issues with um, the matte spray. Well, I thought it was the matte spray I was having issues with, but it wasn't. I'd got a new gloss spray. And what I didn't realize is that um, it sprayed a heavier coat. Um, and what the coat does is it fills in all the space and then when you go and spray the matte over it um, it doesn't it doesn't go matte because the, the gloss spray was too too thick um, so it I had to very carefully um, spray the matte about five times from a little bit of a distance to try and um, try and get them to go matte but it was a headache and a half um, I talked to um, the, the guys that supplied the matte spray and because originally I thought it was their problem um, and then I, I figured out actually it wasn't these at all um, and that I had it just been a little bit heavy handed with a, a, a spray that had a different nozzle on it and just psh, out it came so yeah they're a little bit they're probably not quite as glossy as they're showing in the photo um, but um, I was a wee bit disappointed with the way that that had come out I always spray one coat of gloss just because it brings the colours up and then I usually spray two coats of matte to dull it back down again but then the, the colour is still bright underneath the matte. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah but I, just, I really really enjoyed um, painting these. So um, if, you, if you like them um, let me know um, and if you've got any comments about them. As, as I said this is the first time that I've painted uh, Persians and uh, I used a few sources that um, Daniel from War Games Illustrated had given me plus uh, some of the, the art from the, the bags that came um, and a few other pictures that I had found online so uh, so I'll stop talking there and I'll leave you to watch the rest um, if you um, if you're not a subscriber would love you uh, for you to subscribe um, and uh, yeah leave some comments